Liar, liar, pants on fire. Hi, this is David B. Wright, formerly of 40 Days for Life and a huge fan of Students for Life of America. This is your daily pro-life gen news for Friday, February 17th. Let's get started. A friend of mine once said, you know how to tell when a Planned Parenthood official is lying? When their lips are moving. Well, the PR team at Planned Parenthood has cooked up another whopper, and this one is being once again happily repeated by their friends and their allies in the media. Here's the new lie. Planned Parenthood is nonpartisan, and their agenda, oh, it's not political. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Wasn't Cecile Richards the deputy chief of staff for Democrat Nancy Pelosi before she became president of Planned Parenthood? Didn't the New York Times quote Cecile Richards as saying that she was going to turn Planned Parenthood into the largest kick-butt political organization? Huh, didn't Planned Parenthood just spend more than $38 million in this last election cycle trying to get Cecile's friend, Democrat Hillary Clinton, elected to the presidency? Didn't the Washington Post call Planned Parenthood a powerful political juggernaut during the fall? Didn't Planned Parenthood send 99% of its political contributions to Democrats this past year? There's no mistaking it. Planned Parenthood is a partisan political machine. The problem is they lost this last fall's election and they don't have friends in the White House anymore looking out for their abortion agenda. And now they're facing the very real threat of having hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer funding stripped away from their bottom line, defunded by those very partisan politicians they worked so hard to try to keep out of office. There's no getting around it. Planned Parenthood is partisan. And frankly, it's time to pull the plug on funding the abortion chain's deadly political machine. In other lies, I mean other news, the Associated Press is reporting that an Indiana House panel clashed over the science behind a supposedly disputed method of reversing RU486 abortions. Legislators narrowly passed a measure to ensure that women will now receive factual information about the abortion pill reversal option before they undergo the deadly RU486 procedure. Abortion proponents tried to prevent women from receiving this important information by claiming that the so-called abortion reversal procedure is not scientifically proven to work. The bottom line is that the abortion industry and their political allies are terrified because they know the abortion pill reversal process works. Just ask Rebecca Buell. When she felt pressured into an abortion, she visited a Planned Parenthood that happily sold her an RU486 abortion pill. Immediately after she took that pill, she knew she had just made the biggest mistake of her life and she wanted to make things right. She found a pro-life doctor who had been trained in the abortion pill reversal process. And after she went through with the procedure, Rebecca gave birth to a healthy baby boy in 2013. Abortion industry lobbyists may want to dispute the facts. They may want to use misleading and inflammatory rhetoric, but I got to meet Rebecca Buell this past fall and I got to hold her son who is alive because of abortion pill reversal. Yes, abortion pill reversal works. If you know somebody who's begun an RU486 abortion, there is still hope. Direct them to abortionpillreversal.com and they'll have more facts than those Indiana abortion industry lobbyists. And who knows, you might even be able to help save a life. My name is David B. Wright, and that's the news that caught our eye today. Take what you learned today, put it into action. You can help save lives and you can help change the world.